Did you know that Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back grossed over $1 billion in the box office? $538 million to be exact. And I know you've heard me say this before, but it's no wonder they keep making these movies. Also, we're going to hit you with another little nugget. The shot where Luke uses the Jedi powers, you know, to retrieve the lightsaber from a distance, that was actually achieved by having Mark Hamill throw the lightsaber away and running the film in reverse. Boy, imagine what they could have accomplished with a little bit of CGI. What's up all you movie maniacs? Welcome back to Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you the 10 mistakes that we found in, you probably already know, The Empire Strikes Back. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell. We'll keep you updated on all our newest videos. Also, remember to tune in to our new schedule every Wednesday and Saturday when we bring you more great movie mistakes like this one. So without further ado, let's get it! So in our first mistake, we get a chance to see Luke on patrol when he is suddenly smacked down by the abominable snowman. Just as he hits the ground, notice the blood that falls onto the snow. But when the camera angle changes positions, we can see that the blood that fell earlier is now missing. Here we see the abominable snowman grubbing down, and Luke knows he's next on the menu. We then get a wide shot of Luke and notice that his legs are far apart. But when we get a close up of Luke, we can see that his feet are now close together. We all know that that wouldn't be possible if his legs were separate. So staying in the same scene where Luke is hanging from the ceiling like roasted duck, the abominable snowman is almost done with his meal when we get a shot of Luke's lightsaber. Pay close attention to its position in the snow. As the camera switches angles, we get a good look at the lightsaber which is now buried deeper in the snow than it was originally. Boy, it's a good thing for Luke that he's got friends like Han Solo to keep him safe. So as Han Solo comes to his friend's aid, take note of the badge on the right side of his jacket. So as Han Solo cuts the beast open, he's gonna shove Luke inside to keep him warm. But as the camera angel switches back and forth yet again, we see the badges move to the left side of his jacket. I wonder why. The part in the movie where Luke meets Yoda to become a Jedi is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire trilogy, whatever G it, it is, whatever. But this movie, just like all others, is not free of its mistakes. Make a mental note that Yoda is standing on the ground in this scene. So as Yoda uses the force to get Luke's ship out of the swamp, notice that he is now standing on a rock of some sort and no longer on the ground. In this scene, Darth Vader pays our heroes a little visit. Their friend Lando has double-crossed them and you can see the stormtroopers assembling outside. Pay close attention to their formation as the camera angle switches. Notice that these two guys are now a lot closer together. In this part of the movie, Lando is working to redeem himself. He's helping Princess Leia and company get away. But notice the bottom of Chewie's shoe. Does that look like a tennis shoe to you? Well, it does to me, and I'm chalking it up as a mistake. Now, this mistake in the movie is hands down my favorite. I mean, the rebels are getting away, the stormtroopers are chasing them, but let's pause it here. Check out the black mark on the stormtrooper's chest. I had to rewind this part a few times to figure out what that was. But you can see from this angle as we pause the clip, it's actually a blast pack. It's just to give us the effect that Lando actually shot him. 
Here in one of the most iconic parts of the movie, Darth Vader and Luke battle it out. So when Darth Vader takes a swing, notice he cuts the pipe in two, leaving a silver residue. But as he cuts Luke's hand off, we get another shot of those pipes and they look burnt. Now how is it that they've gone from silver to charred in just a matter of seconds? So for our very last mistake, R2-D2 leaves C-3PO to go help fix the ship. C-3PO is seen here holding the leg from the knee part, with the foot dangling below. But as the camera angle switches back and forth, we can get another shot of C-3PO and the foot is now upside down. Why is that? Your guess is as good as mine. So what did you think of these cool movie mistakes? Also, don't forget to tell us what you'd like to see next using the hashtag mistakes. And don't forget to join our family by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell now. And as usual, we want to give a special thanks to all the movie mistakes out there. Thanks for joining us week after week. Be sure to tune in every Wednesday and Saturday for great videos like this one. And we'll see you next time.